won us the game, um, no doubt. It was uh, not the sole reason, but it was it was fabulous. Uh, uh, Luke Goody, spectacular, both ends, not just making threes. His defensive his defensive effort. He brought unbelievable defensive energy. Uh, he brought connectivity. Uh, he handled a couple switches. Um, I thought he was terrific. Obviously, Dane point away from his uh, career high, 21, 9 of 9, talk about efficient. Um, but, uh, yeah, it changed the game. And, uh, uh, you know, then I thought Draven, <clears throat> I've got so much confidence in Draven. Uh, I love what he's doing in practice. I love the way he's, pre he's preparing. Defensively, I thought he's been very good. Uh, he fouled him once or twice today. but. Um, so I've got a lot of confidence in, in those guys, and, and we needed them today. A game that we got off to a sluggish start. I didn't like it much, and, and um, we, we got to stop that. Brad, I feel like you've been talking about Draven for like two months now, and, and for him to have that kind of moment in that first half when you, when you needed him, what was what was so key about that? Well, I think that you know I felt comfortable with him in the Big Ten tournament, and, and played him, you know, and I've said all along I think he's one of our best shooters, um, and. We see that every day when we face the scout team because we can't guard him. And and he's playing under control when he's in there. But what I really like is what his defensive presence is, his quickness, his athleticism, his speed. Um, it, it gives us another gear. So he's playing within himself. I like that. And, and it just happened to be able to knock down a couple shots today. Right, a month ago, Dane, coming off back to back games in two minutes, how was he handling that at that time, and what was his response to lead up to now? He's been unbelievable. I can't tell you. He hasn't come in begging me. He hasn't come in whining or complaining. He has been as good a teammate, as good a, a, a player, as good a person as you could ask for. Um, he has worked extra hard. He, he hasn't pouted his work ethic with Fletch. Uh, Fletch will tell you it's through the roof. His extra work with, with Jeff every single day has never wavered. Um, you know, he's a guy that we have to watch, obviously, with his conditioning. He's done extra conditioning so that today could happen. And But it's his attitude. Um, I'm so proud of, of him. And, I mean, you know, part of the reason we've been very good is, you know, our five-out stuff has been good, but he gave us a different look. In the tournament, he gives us one as we move forward, and, and uh, um, I, I'm, I'm, you know, his free throws look great, and I'm, I'm just, he was, he was impressive today on both ends. You said he kind of changes you. Did you adapt <laughs> to that with how well he's playing? I mean, it feels yeah. like you guys are riding him more now. Well, I, I don't think there's any. We can still play the same way. Right. We, there's not a ton of post-ups mm -hmm. that we're running to him. You know, last year, uh, it was all post-ups, and, and this year he's offensive rebounding, he's rim running. He's, he's playing in the dunker spot, you know, as, as, as Marcus is, is, is playing into a, into a lot of those same areas and tie. Um, but uh, my goodness, he's, uh, uh, he's doing the things we ask and he's finding the success that comes with that. Coleman's talked about he likes having him out there defensively too, what he can do, and uh, it seems like it's more rim protection too. What, what are you seeing with that? Oh, no, there's no doubt. I mean, he's 265, 270 pounds. And, and, and the rim protection, you know, Dane's so quick and he's so long, uh, changed the game today. Changed the game. I think they shot 30, 31% second half. And, and uh, when you don't get let, when you don't get uh, easy baskets in the paint, uh, I think they had three layups at half. That allows your perimeter defense to be a little better. And, uh, uh, you know, I thought Coleman did a great job today at chasing shooters, but uh, I was I was very impressed with that. How'd you feel Marcus dealt with then doubling early? Seems like he was off to scoring wise early on, but really seven in great. That's why he had a triple double. That's what good players do. You know, he had six assists at half, and and you know you're just and and probably could have had ten. We missed some wide open shots. I at halftime, guys, I had I, I was ecstatic. We got every shot we wanted. And Terrence had 18 or 19, whatever he had. And, and you know, it was just being down 9 nothing, And then now you're in an uphill fight to, to make it relevant. And, uh, uh, but, yeah, Marcus was, Marcus was terrific. You know, if you're going to double him, he's going to pass it. And we got other really good players. And Luke hit shots, Draven hit shots. And, uh, you know, we kind of went to our five-out lineup where we could all shoot. And, uh, you know, Mark's gonna, Marcus is going to pick that apart. Draven kind of mentioned that you had a conversation with him a couple of months into this season, and 
it kind of changed his perspective on things. Did you have you seen a new player in him over the last maybe month or so? Well, the one the one thing you don't want a freshman to do is get discouraged because of, of lack of playing time. Um, and usually, what happens with 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 young guys is then they quit working. You know, it becomes a becomes a grind to get them to, to work out. Draven's an incredible worker. I mean, incredible. Fletch will be the one of the tell you he's one of the hardest getting second uh, second lifts a day uh, he continues to work and I love that about him and and sometimes guys need to hear that even though they're not playing you know he needs to hear all of that encouragement because his time was coming and I've got a lot of confidence in him and, and uh, it's all because of how hard he's worked loose ball in a, in a game at Stephen F. Austin that could have sent us to the Sweet 16 and we didn't dive on it we batted it and when your best player gets on the floor for a loose ball, I think it, it, it sends a message how important winning is. And, um, you know, everybody else better be doing those same things when, when Taryn Shannon's doing that. So uh, it's amazing how things work out when you when you play hard, you hustle, you do the little things. And, and uh, that was a big play. Did you know Marcus was on triple double watch? No. You didn't know? No. Really good player. Uh, again, I, you pick your poison. You know, Wisconsin didn't double him. He has 26. You double him, he's going to find uh, other guys to, to only have two turnovers, have the ball in his hands. Um, he's special. He's just special. He's really unselfish. He didn't force anything. And uh, there's four or five he probably could have shot and finished. And um, but, uh, you know, again, I think that makes him a, a great player and a really, really hard guard. When it was a dogfight there, it was your bench that was kind of keeping you guys in the game and propelling you forward. What, what did guys like Luke and, of course, Dane kind of give you today? Yeah, we got a lot of confidence in him. It's what won us the, you know, we don't win the Big Ten tournament without Dane. We don't win uh, uh, games throughout the season without Justin. Um, you know, and today Luke uh, has been impactful. It's good to see Luke healthy and and, and, and feeling good and uh, uh, you know that's what I've said it's not just you know a two or three person team we've got really good players and we got really good players that come off the bench and, and, and have uplifted us. Coach, one, one for me. <coughs> 12 minute mark second half being at a dunk in transition it felt like that was the turning point moment where your guys were, were able to start to get control more of a comfort into the game. How in the Talked to Ignacio about Dane and that, how awesome he's been the last few weeks, but it felt like it was a big jolt for the bench as a whole. And then Andrew Long, who started to play, really picked it up at, at, at that point. Take us through that 12 minute mark at that time. Yeah, it was, and, and, and that's a that's a play we work on every day. We, you know, we, we, we tape a blue line right down the middle of our court, and, and, and we call it a blue line rim run. And, and Dane's, that's his job. That puts a tremendous amount of pressure on him. Uh, he had the same play that broke open the Wisconsin game. It's just doing what we ask him to do. Uh, it's simple, and and so I think everybody sees that success, doing what we're supposed to do, and it gives it gives everybody else confidence. And uh, uh, that was a that was a that was a, that was a nice time out to be in. Brad, it seemed. Oh, my follow up with that you mentioned in the presser how coachable he's been. But those are the moments as a coach where you know the talent of a player, you know the potential he could turn to be. Where those moments are like yes. Yeah. This is, this is why we brought He's been an unbelievable member of our team all year. And, you know, a guy that was a great player last year in terms of productivity and, and, and success in terms of starting, but on a team that uh, played a little different. And now to see that come to fruition throughout the season where he's had a couple games where he barely played, uh, but never quit, never stopped working, uh, continued to work hard, never pouted. Um, that speaks volumes to his character and who he is. Brad, I couldn't help in the first half. There was a pretty aggressive conversation with you and Terrence. He had 17. I don't think it was a second about it. It was about offense. you know. And then he gets on the floor. He's doing all of those things. It just seemed like that kind of flipped for him in, 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 in a way. Well, Thelwell's a really good player. I mean, we thought, I thought he was the, the, the head of the stake. He drove them. He's a high assist guy. But I just didn't think Terrence was guarding him. I thought he was up two feet off of him. I thought he, you know, Terrence can dominate anybody mm -hmm. uh, on that side of the court, and, and, and offense wasn't our problem. Uh, what we needed to do was have a little, a little snap defensively, and, and a little, little, little grit, and, and everything starts with your, 
uh, with your pickup point defensively and everything starts with your point guard on offense and, and uh, he rose to the occasion. He got better. Trey, you mentioned 